we are going to create GPT 4.5 AI agents. First, the meal planner agent and then the blog agent, then it gives the output. Using a no code solution, even a beginner should be able to follow through. It's just the upgraded version of vector shift and it's drag and drop. You are able to publish that on a WordPress website or any other website just like this. So you can ask any question or any recipe and it should be able to run that and finally give us the blog post just like this. You can even tweak this based on your requirement. This is just an example. It's as easy to integrate that with any application. And I'm going to take you through step by step. Let's get started. We are going to use vector shift a no code solution to build pipeline, automate task using multiple large language models and publish that as a chatbot or a workflow automation. And thanks to vector shift for sponsoring this video. Use Mervin Prison as the coupon code to get 20% off. So once after you sign up, you are able to create pipelines and already they've got different templates for you to get started. But in this case, I'm going to get started from scratch. So clicking on create pipeline. So here we got the input, output, text and other fields. You are able to use any large language models, add your custom data using knowledge base, integrate with any of these application and much more. But for now, I'm going to focus mostly on the basics input. Then we'll set up the output. So in the middle, we need two agents. First is the meal creator agent, then blog agent. And finally, it goes to the output. The input comes from here. So we need two agents. So for now, I'm going to use here. There's LLMs there. I'm going to use GPT 4.5. Similarly, I'm going to create one more agent with GPT 4.5. Creating agents is as simple. So now we got the input. I just need to drag this input to this prompt area and it automatically gives the variable. So I'm going to drag that and put that in prompt and click text. Now it's all ready. It's linked with the input. As soon as you provide an input, it goes to the first agent. I'm going to mention in the system instruction, you are a meal creator agent. Next, the output from the first agent, that is the meal creator agent to the second agent. And same as before, I'm just dragging into the prompt and choosing the response. And here the system prompt is you are a blog creator agent. Now let's move on to the final output, dragging this and choosing this output. And now it's all ready. As simple as that. So what I did, I just had an input and the an output in between. I got two agents. So the data gets passed through these agents and finally you get an output. Now let's test this to test it. Click the run icon at the top and then you will have input here. So I'm going to say chicken and click the run icon. Now you can see the status here. It's running through the second agent. Now it's going to the block creator agent. You can clearly see the status. The first agent state is done. Second agent state is running. And finally, it goes to the output and the output is now displayed. So I can just view in full screen like this. So you can see the blog post based on the meal it prepared. To integrate this with your own application, first I'm going to click deploy changes and then deploy. Now we can go to export and then I'm going to create a chatbot. Clicking on chatbot, naming the chatbot as Mervin Prison create chatbot. Now you got different configuration. I'm going to embed that in my website. I'm going to give a title configuring the chatbot based on your requirements and you can add your own logos if required. So for now, I'm just going to clear it and it's all ready now. So now I can publish this. So I'm going to click deploy changes and then click export. Then you got the embed code. You can even connect it in various ways, but I'm going to use the iframe embed code. So just copying it going to my WordPress website, appearance editor, patterns and putting that in the footer. So adding the code here in this block as HTML and clicking save. Now it's all ready. Now here's the chatbot. Now if I go and type any item, then the assistant that is GPT 4.5 agents will go to work and will give us the final blog post. That is really nice. Now you are able to create AI agents and integrate that in your own website like this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like this video, I've also created another video in regards to Vector Shift, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.